what, what, what's good, what's poppin'? Welcome to my channel. It's your favorite Southern Psychic, Nene in the building. And today we got another reading. So go ahead and get your drinkity drink. Go get your snaggity snack and let's get it poppin'. Just a heads up, yes, I got a members, y'all. If you wanna go join that, we post pick a card readings every Friday. So that information will be in the comment section down below. Okay, so the topic of discussion today, you got people hella intimidated right now, okay? So you bossed up is what's coming through. You're just coming up in the building like you own the place. Like that's the energy you're radiating. Okay, so we have facility coming through, which is all about blossoming into the fullest version of yourself, okay? And we also have the Phoenix rising as well. So this is showing me that it was not easy. It ain't easy being cheesy, boo boo, period. So with the Phoenix rising, this showed me that you literally like fought a lot of demons. You fought a lot of darkness to get to this place that you're at, right? Every day is spiritual war warfare and like you're staying prayed up you're staying consistent you're staying on the ground you know showing the world what you got that's the vibe coming through okay so there is this vibe coming through like you have some people like you just got really good at the work or the job or something that you're doing you've gotten really really good where you're coming off as like the expert right and so like now you got certain individuals who are really intimidated by that because they thought that they were owning the building they thought that they was the ones who was running something and really the only thing that they're running is their mouth okay so you're the talk of the town is what's coming through here okay so with the phoenix rising we also have the taboo energy okay so taboo energy is something that's like you know that's something different that's something that like nobody is like everyone's afraid to look at right and the thing about your energy is that like you're not afraid to go there your energy is a bit taboo it's really unorthodox is what i'm hearing here okay so there have been some people who are like talking about like oh well you know speculating how you became successful or or like spec speculating like your position is what i'm hearing okay especially with that selling out it just feels like that's their projections okay so you made this level of success in your life right where you really made a name for yourself and there are some people who are really intimidated by that and so they're like making up these stories like gossiping to their little hands is what i'm hearing so we have chiron and we also have self-love this is the truth of the matter is that like the deepest form of self-love is discipline right and so this is the reason why you're finding success and you're blossoming is because you're pushing past the resistance of everything that's supposed to bring you down okay we also have gemini and mercury energy coming through and we have the first house all right so this is showing me like what people are noticing about you is that like you're a lot more confident in your voice you're more like it just feels like you're more self-assured and you're not buckling under this pressure like these people wanted you to is what i'm hearing okay and we also have the second house so with all this blossoming energy it feels like you're pushing the envelope and there's this energy coming through that your assets and your finances are healing because you're being brave because you're being bold period okay and so another message i'm hearing as well is like some people might be speculating like how did you get the success how did you get that money right like some people are trying to either blame it let's say oh, a pretty privilege or they're trying to blame it on oh well somebody handed that to you and the truth is is that you literally worked for this okay so boo you stayed on business this season is what's coming through and they are hella shook is what i'm hearing too busy winning exactly you're in a higher vibration with this too busy winning you're too busy winning to let people hold you back or to let people get in your way of your progress is what i'm hearing it feels like definitely like competitive energy that you've dealt with with other people like that's the reason why they talk to smack is because they're very competitive of you is what i'm hearing it's a one-sided competition because like i said you're too busy winning hustling boo you are making it rain this season. This is confirmation. Making it rain, focused on money, and getting it. You get the bag. And some people are like, they're too nosy. That's what I'm hearing. We have photo proof getting evidence. Some people are nosy about what you got going on. You could have like an online presence for some of y'all. These people are way too preoccupied with what you got going on. And like, these people need to get a life is what it feels like here. It's like, why don't you mind your own? You know what I'm saying? Mind your own business, period. Karmic friends, look what just... Oh my gosh, look, can't fully trust them, tension, secret competition, confirmation. There's people who are in secret competition with you definitely could be at the workplace or something like that. Okay, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. This is also somebody with that message coming through. Uh, somebody who try to get too close just so they can get evidence, like trying to find you slipping up. That's the thing. People always be trying to find you slipping up. That's what's coming through here, okay? And you just keep on dodging these bullets. You keep on proving people wrong is what I'm hearing here. 
They're like waiting around. Like that's the only reason why they was trying to get too close with you is because they're waiting around for you to like show a weakness, okay? To show a weak point. And you're not because you're too busy winning. Because you got that formula and you got it going on, period. Boss daddy. Ooh, boss daddy likes to come in these reads, y'all. So we got the boss daddy vibe with the hustling every day. I'm hustling. You hustling this season. You a boss daddy. You building this. NTU's coming through as well. It says good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. And that's the thing. That's your energy. You come in with this positive radiating light. And it's usually the people who've been through the most who are usually the most optimistic shining light is what Spirit's saying. Okay, so that's you. That's your energy. You come into places and people love you. They adore you. Admiration is what I'm hearing. You have a lot of people who admire you. And like certain people on the sidelines as well are like, they don't like that. They don't like that you're getting this attention. They don't like the fact that a lot of people are into you. That you're literally the blueprint. You're the walking blueprint to success. This was coming through because the battles that you fought with that Phoenix Rising is showing me that, like, you really fought these demons. You, you had to fight your way through hell to get to heaven, right? That's the vibe coming through. Okay, so, like, you're leading by example in this aspect. Yeah, look, we got the scarcity tactics. Look. I feel like this momentum at work or something like that, like you got this momentum going on and you have these creative ideas and you know, like maybe you're putting a lot of like input in, in the community and stuff. And like you have somebody who came around and tried to make you trip up and try to make you second guess your creative ideas or like, you know, like what, like I said, like you're well seasoned, you're well seasoned in this aspect of your life. Okay. Cause you've been putting in a lot of work and like they try to come in and try to make you second guess, try to make you like, like switch answers or something like that. And the truth is, is this right here. They ain't it. They ain't it. That's what's coming through here, okay? With that scarcity tactic. It didn't work because you want a whole nother level, boo-boo, period. Moving on. Thank you, next. Yep. You moving on to better and brighter days, period. Creativity coming through as well. Look, confirmation. Your creativity, your intuition, like I'm seeing a... Uh, I'm seeing swords energy in my mind. I'm seeing the ace of swords, okay? So there's clarity, there's truth that you've had, okay? Your confidence is radiating. And look, it says steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates and feeds off of you. It's like somebody trying to sabotage you. It could have been in the workplace is what I'm hearing here, okay? They try to sabotage you, okay? Try to make you look bad. Like, that's the thing. Like, these people be trying to make you look bad, but all the while, like, every time, like, you switch it up and, like, you be looking good, okay? And then they be looking dumb is what I'm hearing. And then we have Baroque coming through. They broke, okay? They are energetically broke and you're energetically rich is coming through here. And drama starter, yeah, literally. They be trying to initiate drama where there's no drama. Like, that's the energy coming through here. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, look, we have working in the dark prayer closet, moving in silence, have faith, and prayers answered. Like I said, like, you have been working in the dark. You've been moving in silence is what Spirit's saying. And, like, you're remembering why you started. Like, certain people try to get you tripped up is what's coming through here. And, like, you got back on the saddle is what I'm hearing here. We have aging reverse. You're aging in reverse. Like I said, this glow up, that this change is what I'm hearing. Although you're more solidified in yourself and you're coming off as, like, an expert, right? You know what you got going on. You know, you know the cold hard facts is what I'm hearing here. Okay, even though you're mature now, like, your looks have changed like you look like you're aging in reverse like i said that's why people are curious like they think that you did some witchcraft or something on yourself to look better to find success right that's a message coming through maybe it's because you know you're more vocal about your spirituality and stuff like that so people are speculating oh you're a witch or oh you know you signed a deal with the devil to become successful that kind of energy oh i can't even deal rebuke defy yo uh -uh. hey just go hey potatoes go potato period exactly look some people are too curious about what you got going on, what, how you get in the bag, right? All the while, they over here broke is what I'm hearing. Okay, you aging in reverse, and they're haters are going to hate potatoes going to potato, which means that they ain't nothing but a bunch of couch potatoes. They ain't going to do nothing, right? They ain't doing nothing, okay? Humble beginnings, exactly. You've had humble beginnings. That's what's coming through here. But this humble beginning, spirit saying, like, you didn't have it easy, right? You had humble beginnings. And that's the reason why like you're shining your light brightly and you're still the sweetheart. But at the same time, like you have this capacity to go beast mode, okay? At your job, at your work. All right. That's the vibe coming through. And like people, like you could be stuck up if you wanted to. That's what I'm hearing. You have this thing where you could, you have the right to be stuck up, right? But you're not, you're a sweetie. And like some people, like they got it twisted when they would come at you incorrectly with this ish. 
and the bond is touched. Exactly. Everything that you touch turns to gold is what's coming through here. Okay. So you do have some people who are a bit envious of that fact. Okay. We have the king of cups coming through emotional maturity. Exactly. Look, some people wanted you to run around like a chicken with your head cut off. You know what I'm saying? And like, you're not. Coming off as unfazed, unbothered to their tactics, period. Okay. We have the apprentice of clouds ambition. You have that ambition going on with you in the chariot momentum. It just feels like nothing's stopping you. Nothing's going to stop you is what I'm hearing. You know, this energy feels like, you know, in the Matrix, we're seeing the ma like the Matrix and Neo, like he just stops the bullets right there, right? And the bullets just fall. Like that's how it is with these ops who try to come up against you. Like they don't realize that you're the chosen one. You're like Neo, okay, period. The sun, clarity, momentum and clarity. Like I said, you've had a revelation of your power, your gifts, and like you know that you belong. You don't let people make you feel like you don't belong somewhere anymore, right? Because you own the place. You come in and the party don't start till you come in. Like that's the vibe that you give. And the sun, yes. Seven of swords. Look, scarcity mentality. We had scarcity mindset. Okay, so these, this has been a spiritual test to dealing with people who have been reflecting the opposite of what you're trying to manifest. You know what I'm saying? Like people want to sit here and hold you back or make you like stop dreaming, stop believing, okay? Or your outer circumstances. It just feels like it's been like a lot of tests that you've dealt with, okay? But this is also talking about like, you know, seven of swords energy, cannabis ish It's like someone who's trying to like change people's perception of you is what I'm hearing here. I'm hearing that you're God's secret weapon. Like that's what it feels like. You're God's secret weapon weapon period the novice of lightning exploration or it's like the page of wands okay so the page of wands energy coming through so this is like you know nobody believes in themselves more than the page of wands right and it just feels like this is your season of stepping out and like just owning your swag is the vibe coming through like that's what you're doing it's got people intimidated they're like oh i wish that she wouldn't get up out the bed you know what I'm saying like i wish that she would have walked out the house flousing right Ace of gems, opportunity, okay? So now you got these opportunities. Back to that first house energy. There's just something about your character. I'm here like cult of personality. Like your personality is so big, okay? And some people, like, they just can't take the fire. They can't take the intensity, the drive that you have, okay? So they just gonna have to get up out the way, period. Bottom of the deck, the five of wands, competition. They gonna have to get up out the way because it's no competition with you, boo-boo period. Like they really need to go back home. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. They need to reevaluate their life. That's what I'm hearing. Like they need to reevaluate re things because like you just changed the whole trajectory on them, period. So spirit, tell me more. Oh, dang, what in the world? Y'all, did y'all see that? <laughs> we have beauty in the building. Okay. She's a beauty and a beast, period. Like, that's the energy you give, right? They sit there and they see you and they think, oh, you just you just uh, got that pretty privilege. Of, oh, you're not a hard worker. Like, th yeah, the face card don't decline with you, but at the same time, you're a beast, okay? Like I said, you come from humble beginnings. And so this ain't your first rodeo, period, okay? And so some people was trying to treat you like this was your first rodeo kind of thing. It's like, uh, have you not heard my name? Do you not know who I am? It's like, you are a legend, boo-boo, period. Ooh. Ready to go. Y'all can't make this up. Look, we had beauty and now we have strength. Yes. Looks are not as they appear with you. They're Y'all, looks are not as they appear with you. Beauty in the bees, strength, Leo energy in the building. Leo, Libra energy as well is what I'm hearing. Yeah, look, talent coming through. Exactly. You're showcasing your talent, right? And some people didn't want you to, okay? But they can't hold you back. They can't stop you, okay? It's coming. It's happening. This is destiny. Your greatness, like you achieving this, this is destined. It's written in the stars is what I'm hearing here, okay? And we also have spirit guide coming through as well. They don't realize you're chosen. That's what's coming through here. You are chosen. It's like many are called, but few answer. You answered the call, right? These people can't be salty because you're on your north node. That's what I'm hearing. Exactly, finding. You have found your place, uh, especially if you dealt with people who want to like push back at you. Spirit say like you ain't going anywhere because you found your place, you found yourself, you found your purpose. Okay, so they can do the little evil eyes all they want to. They ain't gonna stop this. Yeah, your commitment, finding commitment. It just feels like you know when you were younger, up here like you had this this problem with like committing yourself, or like that's what people would say about you, like oh you can't you can never finish something through, follow something through, and like you've changed it up, and like you've been following it through. 
right? And so a lot of these people, like, they got their foot in their mouth now. That's what I'm hearing. Like, oh, <laughs> justice, exactly. What did I just say? Boo boo, this is retribution season, justice. Okay, so I am here, like, those who want to cast the stones, like, you're taking those stones and you're building a castle, you're building your legacy. Okay, that's the vibe coming through, period. So let's get you some final advice. Spirit, what final advice do you have for the spiritual baddie over here watching this today? We have energy. Call your energy back to you. Power, aura, and depletion. So, so you're saying call your energy back to yourself, you know, especially dealing with like these types of battles with people, you know, say like whenever people want to sit there and get you off your high horse. Ain't nobody getting you off your high horse this season. Okay, so call your energy back from all corners of the earth. Okay, transmute it into power is what I'm hearing. And we also have the mystic. So it says intuition, high priestess, and visionary. Okay, it says there is a reason you have those dreams. So, yes, you are a high priestess. So, you have this magical thing about you. Like, you're highly intuitive. You'll say, like, you're not hiding this anymore is what I'm hearing. Let people talk. Let people speculate. Let people want to think what they want to think. Think, oh, you put a little spell on them. Or, oh, you put a little spell on the money jar kind of thing. That's what I'm hearing. Like, boo-boo. You, you're magical. You're making things happy. You're stepping into your I amness and knowing that you're so much more than this physical body, right? And so, like, when you're aligned with that, amazing things happen. Magic happens. Great things. Abundance is assured to you is what I'm hearing here. So go flaunt your stuff. You know you a mystic. You know you a mystical baddie, a spiritual baddie, period. Okay, I love you so much. I send you so much love. You have a blessed, wonderful day. Ta-ta.